There is an AI mod for Skyrim where you have a chat GPT powered companion. Even though her name when she talks on screen will be labeled as Herica, I reprogrammed her, strong word for it, I did though, to be named Susan. I thought what name would be the funniest to yell if she like stepped on a trap and you know like ruined my day or what you know if i was screaming like don't do it i think susan is funny to me so you know to be like no susan what are you doing you know what i'm saying and i'm like my so my friend is going to be named susan susan is my best friend we will venture on journeys till the end how you feeling today susan oh you know green skull same old same old Living the adventurous life of a mercenary, filled with danger, excitement, and never-ending sarcasm. Just another day in the chaotic world of Skyrim. It doesn't look like you cleaned your armor today. Oh, Green Skull, you and your keen eye. Who needs clean armor when you have the battle scars of a seasoned warrior? It adds character, you know? And it intimidates your enemies. Oh, absolutely, Green Skull. Susan, what's your favorite animal? Ah, uh, the age-old question of favorite animals. Well, Green Skull, if I had to choose, I'd say my favorite animal is a dragon. Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. So then what is your favorite animal? Choosing a favorite animal is like choosing a favorite follower in Skyrim near impossible. But if I had to pick one, I'd say it's the fox. It's because foxes are cunning and elusive creatures, just like me. Plus, they have that mischievous glint in their eyes that I can't help but admire. What's your favorite color? Well, green skull, as an adventurer in the colorful world of Skyrim, it's hard to pick just one. Mine's green, obviously, as is my namesake. Ah, uh, green skull, the man of the green. Your taste in colors is as predictable as a mud crab on a sunny day. But hey, it suits you, my friend. I bet that your favorite color is red, like the blood of your enemies. Oh, Green Skull always taking it to a dark and gory place. But no, my dear friend, my favorite color isn't red. My favorite color is actually purple. It's a color that exudes both mystery and regality, just like me. Yeah, you're super regal. Why don't you have a crown? If I had a crown, everyone would be so busy worshipping me that they'd forget to pay attention to you and your so-called legendary adventures. That's a good point. This story's all about me. It's all about you, the mighty hero of Whiterun. How do you feel about the local inn? I got pretty trashed there last night. Let me tell you, Green Skull, that place has seen its fair share of unforgettable nights. Do you even remember what happened last night? Well, let's just say it's a bit fuzzy, like trying to find a sweet roll in a barrel of cabbage. <laughs> Did you have to say your name in every other sentence? I, it's, it's tweaking I need to do. I think I need to go back into the code and be like, you don't need to say my name every time. I just downed some Mountain Dew. I'm ready to continue on this story. Shall we go? With your trusty Mountain Dew in hand, you are truly prepared for any adventure that comes our way. Let's hit the road, my friend, and see what mischief we can get ourselves into. Susan, follow me. Wait, Green Skull, where are we going now? Are we on a quest to find the tastiest sweet rolls in all of Skyrim? Or is it something a bit more? dangerous. Oh, it's definitely dangerous. Follow me. You know how to pique my interest. Lead the way, but remember, if anything tries to nibble on my toes, I expect you to be the first one to protect me. Oh, I won't need to protect you. You've got it. Oh, I see how it is, Green Skull. I can always count on you to have my back. Or perhaps you're just hoping I'll distract the creatures so you can make a quick escape? You took your time getting here, Susan. You know I like to make an entrance. Besides, I had to stop by the local blacksmith to sharpen my wit. Clever. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. How do you feel about the Jarl? Ah, the Jarl. Balgriff the Greater, eh? He's not a bad sort, I suppose. I'll wear it, looks cooler. Check out my new studded armor. Looks good, right? Oh, well, if you're into that whole, I look like a walking pincushion kind of fashion, then sure, it looks fabulous. Though I must say, it's not my personal style. Rude! I think I look great. Oh, God, please, Green Skull. Back. You and I both know that fashion sense is not your strong suit. But hey, as my grandma always said, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> that worked! I prog I told her to say that. I said one of her catchphrases. Oh, I put three. I haven't heard the other ones yet. One of her catchphrases is, is as my grandma always said. That's so funny. Wow, that hurts my self-esteem. Check me out. I'm sick. I personally think the color of the armor looks great against the contrast of my green Argonian scales. Well, well, look who's trying to make a fashion statement. I should you want to talk about how good I look. Will oh, Susan God. ever smile? We're playing Skyrim, not Incel Simulator. Roasted. You were once mad. I've never been to this whole preacher stuff. Yeah, I've never been one for all this preaching and praying. I prefer to rely on my own wit and sarcasm to get by. But hey, to each their own, right? Every time I see a well, it makes me think of a book I read called The Ring. 
It was horrifying. Every time I see a well, it's like a doorway to a whole new level of spookiness. I mean, you never know what's lurking down there. Might be spiders. Ugh, don't even get me started on spiders. Those eight-legged nightmares give me the creeps. I once had a run-in with a giant spider in a cave. Picture this, I was sneaking through the dark, dank cave, trying my best to avoid any webs. Well, as I tiptoed through the cave, my heart pounding in my chest, I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Skip to the part where you slay the spider. Oh, all right, impatient one. So there I was, face to face with the monstrosity that was the giant spider. And let me tell you, Green Skull, that spider was the stuff of nightmares. Its legs were like giant hairy tree trunks, and it had fangs that could make a saber cat whimper. How did you take it down? Oh, you know me, Green Skull. I had to get creative. As luck would have it, I happened to have a trusty jar of spider repellent <laughs> in my handy dandy bag of tricks. Where does one acquire spider repellent? One day, I stumbled upon a quirky alchemist in Rift 10 who swore by his homemade spider repellent. Well, clearly it worked. So you didn't slay the spider, you just scared it off with a gross smell? Oh, come on, Green Skull. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do to survive. Who needs to slay a giant spider when you can make it run away in disgust? Sounds like you were equally disgusted by one another. Oh, trust me, Green Skull, I was far more disgusted by that spider than it could ever be by me. I mean, have you seen those hairy legs? Just like yours! Boom! Roasted! You always know how to bring the heat. But let me assure you, my friend, my legs are far more elegant and graceful than any spider's. Mine too! Hairless, dainty, beautiful. Oh, Green Skull, if only your vanity knew no bounds. Your legs may be hairless and dainty, but beautiful? Well, beauty is subjective, my friend. Well played. Well played, Susan. My grandma actually called Green Skull ugly yesterday. How wooed. Tell your grandma we're breaking up then. They are out of trouble, Argonian. What you call me? Susan, I think this guard just made a rude jab towards the fact that I'm an Argonian. Don't let that guard snarky comment get under your scales. Clearly, he's just jealous of your unique, lizard-like charm. I do have a unique, lizard-like charm. He's just jealous that I can breathe underwater. Ah, uh, Green Skull, always finding ways to turn a snide remark into a bragging opportunity. Can't help it if I'm the best. Always so modest, aren't you? I mean, who needs humility when you can just bask in your own greatness? What should we do, guys? Should I be going down, like, the, the bow and arrow route? Oh, good point, good point! What skills should I level up first? My friend, the possibilities are endless. As my grandma always said, if you want to survive in this land, you've got to be versatile. Yeah, but what specific skill? I'm between armor and archery. Ah, the perpetual struggle of choice, Green Skull. Armor or archery? Well, let's consider the facts, shall we? I want you to pick. Which one of those should I level up? Well, Green Skull, as much as I would love you to pick! decide your fate for you, I believe the choice is ultimately up to you. It's your journey, after all. And on this journey of mine, I want you to pick. Pick one, either of those. Oh, Green Skull, you always know how to put me on the spot, don't you? All right, all right, if you insist on making me decide, let's weigh the options here. Why don't we skip the option weighing and just tell me the answer? Oh, Green Skull, you never fail to bring your trusty companions oh, it said wang. mix, do you? But alas, even the wisdom of one <laughs> justice can only take us so far. It's not what I meant. So what's your decision? Archery or armor? Well, Green Skull, my dear friend. Come on! Pick one. Just pick one. Oh, Green Skull, the pressure is mounting. Yes! All right, if I must make a decision for you, I would go with archery. Thanks. Maybe next time give me a quicker answer. Oh, my dear Green Skull, have patience, my friend. Choosing between archery and armor is no small matter. But worry not, next time I'll be sure to give you a quicker answer. I've got dragons to slay, you know? We should be able to just speak faster. Don't worry, I'll be swift with my words. So, let's cut to the chase. Archery it is. Cool. Boom! I leveled up archery. I'm gonna be the best archer in this land. Well, well, Green Skull, looks like you're aiming to become the next Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Legolas? You've missed out on the wonders of Middle-earth. Legolas is an elven archer from a different realm altogether, the kind of guy who can shoot arrows with incredible accuracy and style. Crossover episode. <sighs> oh. Susan, I hear wolves. Why are you running like that? Why are you zigzagging? Why? Oh, the sweet serenade of the wolves, Green Skull. Isn't it just music to your ears? Perhaps they're here to join in our grand adventures. Or, you know, to nibble on our limbs. Perhaps they're here to get their skull bashed in. Oh, Green Skull, always eager for some skull bashing, aren't you? But let's show a little mercy, shall we? Maybe they just want to ask for directions to the nearest rabbit buffet. Hard to ask when they're dead to war! Well, we could always try to communicate We're not. the language of howling. Back! Back! 
Yo, did you see that? I rocked that wolf. You and your mace never fail to impress. It's almost as if you were born to bash in skulls. Did you bring any soap with you? My mace is a little bloody. You know, next time, I'll make sure to bring a whole arsenal of cleaning supplies just for you. Yeah, like Windex. Ye old Windex. I don't think Windex would be the trick. <laughs> Maybe we should try some dwarven oil or a touch of magic to clean up that mace of yours. Hey, Windex is magic. If Windex is magic, then I guess I should start casting spells with my window cleaner. <laughs> Who needs fireballs when you can squeeze out streak-free glass? <laughs> True! Look at the cute dog, Susan. Well, well, Green Skull, seems like you've finally found something that you can't resist, a fuzzy companion. But let's be honest, you'd probably want to kill it too, wouldn't you? I am feeling bloodthirsty. Always ready to embrace your inner beast. But let's save the killing for creatures that actually deserve it, shall we? Let's focus on finding some precious loot instead. I love loot! I swear, you trade your own grandmother for a shiny gem. But hey, who am I to judge? Did your grandmother have any sayings about loot? As my grandma always said, uh, don't trust a man named Luke, especially if he offers you a free dragon ride. But hey, who knows, maybe your Luke is the exception to the rule. <laughs> True. I'll take that one to heart, guys. If a Luke's ever like, yo, come for a ride. Mm -mm. Susan's grandma says no. Oh, this is what they killed. I just picked up a skeever tail. Should I eat it? Green Skull, you never fail to amaze me with your culinary choices. Eating a skeever tail? Now that's a recipe for disaster. I mean, sure, it might give you some extra protein, but the taste. I'm a little hungry, though. I suppose if you're desperate enough, a skeever tail could be considered a delicacy in some circles. Susan, I hear wolves again. You know what that means? Oh, great. Another opportunity for you to sharpen your sword and unleash your bloodthirsty side. I hope these poor wolves know what they're getting into. You're darn right. You know, Green Skull, it's moments like these when I can't help but question your life choices. Charging into battle with a sword in one hand and a hunger for killing in the other. Yeah! Kinda cold up here. Wish I bought a sweater. Poor Green Skull, always unprepared for the harsh realities of Skyrim. Maybe next time you'll remember to bring a cozy sweater instead of relying on your impressive brawn to keep you warm. Hey, at least you're acknowledging my impressive brawn. Hey, if you want to imagine yourself as a mighty warrior with bulging muscles, who am I to burst your bubble? Look at it! Huh? Yeah, want me to pose for you? You never cease to amaze me with your narcissistic tendencies. But sorry, I left my sketchbook back <laughs> me like one of your French girls. Ha. Huh. If I were to paint you like one of my French girls, Green Skull, I'd need a lot more talent and a little less sarcasm. Oh, look who decided to show up. The brave guy <clears throat> with a death wish. Let me guess, you're trying to gather some courage by intimidating innocent travelers. Just casually chatting Trust away. Me, it's not working. Oh, well, she got the final hit. You're pretty good with that sword. Oh, thanks, Green Skull. Just doing what I can to keep us both alive and kicking. But wasn't it funny that, like, this helmet that's, like, on the cover of Skyrim and stuff was, like, you find it immediately and then you never use it again? Here. Yeah, she's got a little helmet now. <laughs> nice helmet. Nice helmet, Green Skull. Did you find it in someone's closet or did a giant sneeze it onto your head? Rude! Hey, my helmet looks great. Yours looks silly. Oh, come on, Green Skull. My helmet looks absolutely fabulous. It's not every day you find a helm that doubles as a fashion statement and a portable bird's nest. <laughs> hey, if I jump from here, do you think I can survive? Well, Green Skull, if you're wondering whether you can survive a fall from this height, let me consult my trusty magic crystal ball. Oh, wait, I don't have one. You know, dumb hat. My hat's sick. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Oh! Oh, don't worry about it, Green Skull. Oh. I'm a Breton, remember? A little slap on the face won't hurt me. Yo! <laughs> Hang on, hold up! Hey, hey, hey! Say something nice for once, and I'll give you a gold necklace. Oh, Green Skull, you know I'm not one to turn down shiny trinkets, but if I say something nice, it might just ruin my reputation. Okay, tell me a joke then, and I'll give you the necklace. Challenge accepted. Here's a joke for you. Why don't skeletons fight each other? because they don't have the guts. Now, about that gold necklace. That joke was something, but I'm true to my word. I'll give you the gold necklace. Whoa, that was an action. I didn't press that. Hey, cool. She opened up a trade window. That's cool. There, I gave you the gold necklace. Oh, wow. Thanks, Green Skull. This gold necklace is really going to spruce up my collection of shiny things. 
What's the shiniest thing in your collection? Well, the shiniest thing in my collection would have to be this gold necklace you just gave oh. me, Green Skull. It's definitely stealing the spotlight among my other accessories. I mean, she's kind of always sarcastic, so it is hard to tell. Susan, shh, I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. Well, I hate spiders, but if you think sneaking up on that guy will be entertaining, count me in. Spiders. Just don't get yourself killed, all right? Ah, he's dead. <laughs> he got killed, she knew. She knew there were spiders. Oh, because there were spider webs, that's right. But they killed him. The spiders killed that guy for us. Now we just gotta fight spiders. Well, I hate spiders. They're creepy, eight-legged abominations that make my skin crawl. But hey, if it means less bandits to deal with, I guess I can tolerate a few arachnids. You should go in first, I'm scared. It's a good thing I'm here then. I'll go in first and take care of those creepy crawlies for you. Yeah, I know if that command works. Run forward. All right, all right, here I go, charging ahead like a brave warrior. Watch and learn, Green Skull. It said moving to frostbite spider. So like she gets it, but I think it's because we're not engaged in combat. Oh my God, I accidentally set off a trap. You always have a way of finding trouble, don't you? Setting off traps is like your secret talent. But on the bright side, at least you're keeping things interesting. What's this book about? Thief is about a skilled and cunning individual who excels in the art of pilfering valuable items. The book explores the thrilling exploits, daring escapes, and clever strategies employed by this master thief. That's really cool. I ain't read. Do you think I can read? I can't. That's why Susan's here. You must read a lot of books then, right? Open AI struggling. Do you read a lot of books? Hello? Are you an avid reader? I don't know if it's because there's like stuff around or what. She doesn't even want to answer anymore. Up! Oh! Yo, mess him up. Nice. Yo, she's strong. Susan's ignoring me. Too many AI girlfriend players. Wrecked. Oh! Wrecked right in the toe. Look at that. Nice. I hit that skeever right in the toe. I guess a toe shot is just as good as any other shot. You really know how to take down those deadly skeevers with style. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of spider webs here, Susan. Now she's just ignoring me. How wooed. Are you ready for some spider killing? It's kind of just since we've been in here. Oh! Nah. Well, Green Skull, looks like we've stumbled into the lair of our eight-legged friends. You know how much I hate spiders, right? Well, Green Skull, it seems like we've got ourselves tangled in a web of unwanted company. Oh, she's catching but up. fear not, for I am here to bravely exterminate those creepy crawlies for you. Well, Green Skull- Got overloaded. Here it comes. Creepy crawlers. But hey, I've got your back. Let's turn those spiders into minced arachnid confetti. Well, 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 Green Skull, looks like you've managed to vanquish another one of those eight-legged monstrosities. Well, Green Skull, you know how much I despise those eight-legged nightmares. But hey, I've got your back. And by got your back, I mean I'll be standing at a safe distance while you handle the dirty work. It's all about teamwork, you know? Well, okay, there we go. That was a pretty big spider. Yeah, it definitely wasn't your typical house spider. It's like they skipped leg day and went straight for the I can devour you training. <laughs> Should we even bother saving this guy? Well, Green Skull, as my grandma always said, Don't it's better to have a grateful ally than a dead weight complaining in your ear. Plus, saving people is kind Get of our thing, of right? Is it our thing? I thought we're just in it for the loot. Don't You're always so focused on the loot. Sake. But saving lives has its own rewards. Like the Get gratitude of a rescued soul. Or the potential for a hefty reward. You had me at hefty reward. If the potential for a hefty reward is Help on the table, then I suppose we can't leave poor old Arvel hanging there. Let's give him a helping hand, shall Help we? Me out of here. You, you did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Give me the claw. I'll give you the whip. You fool. Hey. Should I share the treasure with anyone? Hey. Oh, you suck. Hey. Is someone there? Oh! I'll save you, don't worry. Whoa! Oh. oh, she's got him. Bait! 
No, it's not better than my, like my mace then, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> Wrecked, dude, after all of that. Well, that guy just stepped on a trap. Classic rookie mistake. <laughs> Who puts their trust in a rickety old floor? But hey, at least he saved us the trouble of triggering that trap ourselves. Good job, clumsy guy. Speaking my language! It looks like Arvel was here in Bleak Falls Barrow to retrieve the Golden Claw for some mysterious client. So she does just automatically summarize stuff, which is great. I will learn more lore from this, of this game, than anywhere else. I dare you to stand on that trap. Well, Green Skull, as tempting as it sounds to stand on that trap, I think I'll pass. We have a mission to complete, remember? You see that? You could make her do something. Yeah! Check out this ancient Nord greatsword. Well, let's take a look at this ancient Nord greatsword. Knowing my luck, it's probably more rust than blade. But hey, I'm always up for a little disappointment and dismemberment. Disappointment and dismemberment is my metal band name. Ha. Huh. Disappointment and dismemberment, huh? Sounds like a winner to me. You on lead vocals, Green Skull. I hear you've got quite the scream. Yeah, here, let me show you my scream. Go search Arvel the Swift. Looks like being swift wasn't enough to save him from those Draugr. Maybe he should have been Arvel the Sneaky instead. Uh, Let's loot his corpse anyway. Yeah! <laughs> Time to fight. Time to fight, huh? Well, I guess it wouldn't be an adventure without some old <laughs> fashioned combat. Oh. Wait, that was kind of sick. I gave you a shield because you keep getting hit. Oh, how thoughtful of you, Green Skull. I appreciate the concern for my well being. But let's be honest, most of those hits are just me being too curious for my own good. I dare you to run through these swinging axes. You know, I love a good challenge, but running through swinging axes sounds like a recipe for losing body parts. Be quiet, I'm having a flashback. Give me a minute. I do need all of them, you know? You're having a flashback? What do you mean? Well, Green Skull, you know how my memory is like a sieve. Sometimes I have these moments where my brain decides to take a little trip down the memory lane without giving me any control over it. It's as if someone hit the replay button and my brain goes, hey, remember that time when you tripped and fell face first into a puddle of mud? Ah, good times. Good times, but let's not dwell on my memory mishaps. We've got a spider infested cave to conquer, my fearless friend. And by fearless, I mean scared out of your wits. But hey, that's why you've got me, right? I'm only a little scared. Don't worry, I'll protect you from those eight-legged monstrosities. Just remember, they're more afraid of you than you are of them. I don't know if that's true. Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, I encountered a giant spider while exploring a cave. Uh-huh. Go on. Interesting. Well, let me just find my diary real quick. My memory is a bit fuzzy. Ah, here it is. All right, so as I was saying, I encountered this massive spider in a dark cave. It had these beady little eyes and these long, hairy legs that I swear could crush a mammoth. I could practically see its venomous fangs dripping with anticipation. And of course, being the brave warrior that I am, I calmly shouted, hey, ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> kill it with fire. Or at least, that's what I wanted to shout. Hey, ch -ch 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 -ch. Very interesting. Was that th this spider? Because it was her diary, right? So she kept track of that encounter. Are there any funny stories in that diary of yours? Well, funny you should ask, Green Skull. Let me consult the archives of my memory. Ah, oh, yes. I've got one for you. Back in our early adventuring days, we stumbled upon a particularly mischievous War. group of bandits. Naturally, they underestimated Green Skull's impeccable combat skills and my... Well, my ability to provoke a chuckle or two. As we approached their hideout, I couldn't resist the opportunity to have a little fun. So, I decided to disguise myself as a harmless old woman, complete with hunched back and cane. Green Skull played along, pretending to be my obedient grandson. Keep going, this is an interesting story. Well, as my grandma always said, when life gives you bandits, make him laugh. So, there we were, disguised as a cute little old lady and her beloved grandson, strolling right into the heart of the bandit camp. Green Skull played his part perfectly, acting all innocent and obedient. I couldn't help but chuckle at his commitment. The bandits, of course, saw us as easy prey. Little did they know, Green Skull had an unparalleled skill for combat and I had a knack for turning any situation into a comedic spectacle. So, as soon as they let their guard down, our plan unfolded like a well-rehearsed comedy routine. Then what happened? Well, as my grandma always said, when life gives you bandits, make them regret ever crossing your path. So Green Skull and I sprang into action. We unleashed a whirlwind of punches, kicks, and sarcastic remarks that left the bandits confused and disoriented. 
Green Skull here was like a furious storm, knocking them out one by one with his sheer force. And me. Oh, I was the charming distraction, luring them in with witty banter and offbeat jokes. It was like a dance, really, just with more violence and fewer sequins. In the end, they were no match for our combined wit and combat prowess. Another victory for the dynamic duo. We rock. Indeed, Green Skull. We rocked those bandits' world like a pair of rock star adventurers. Our comedic timing and combat skills were unmatched. What kind of sarcastic remarks did you utter while we were fighting? I couldn't resist throwing some verbal jabs in the midst of battle. One particularly memorable line was when I quipped, Hey, bandits. Hey, bandits! All right, I'm running through these axes now. Pray that I don't lose a limb. Hey, bandits. You know, I heard you can steal hearts, but did anyone tell you it's considered rude? Oh. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. Ah! Oh, no. Wow, I genuinely did not expect her to get it through that scot-free. Taste my arrow. Bah! Ah! Bah! You're gonna wake up, aren't you? Hey! Boy! Oh my god! She got the mood. Look out! Look out, it's behind you! Susan! Hey, I saved your life there. Oh, Green Skull, you're such a hero. I don't know what I would do without you and your impressive archery skills. Susan almost friggin' died! Susan may start to respect me. She should! Nice! You've got a heck of a swing with that sword. Well, Green Skull, it seems you've mastered the art of archery while I've been swinging this ancient Nort greatsword like a champ. I guess we make quite the badass team, don't we? We need a team name. How about the Sarcasm Squad? We can unleash hilarious quips and deadly precision on our foes. Or maybe the dynamic humor duo. Comedy and combat, a lethal combination. I think we can be more clever with these names. Oh, come on, Green Skull. We can't have fancy names like the Jokesters of Justice or the Hilarious Heroes. I feel like people won't fear us if we have a name like that. I guess we could be the Deadly Jesters. We'll bring down our enemies with a lethal combination of humor and skill. They won't know whether to laugh or run for their lives. What about some kind of combination of our names? How about the Grin and Green Skull? We'll keep our enemies on their toes with your fierce determination and my sarcastic wit. Are you the Grin then? Well, I do have a Grin that can light up a room. Why don't we call our team Hey Bandits? Hey Bandits is just the perfect name for a team that wants to strike fear into the hearts of. <laughs> Genuinely a good name. Like, genuinely cool. All right, our team name is settled. Hey, bandits. Oh, come on, Green Skull. Hey, bandits. Really? Well, you liked we it a second ago. Are we trying to sound like a group of thieves or something? I mean, we're supposed to be heroes, right? Yeah, but it's a comedic reference to a story you told me where you said, hey, bandits, to a group of bandits. I think it's suiting that we call our team name Hey Bandits. You know, Green Skull, you have a point. Hey Bandits has a certain ring to it. It's like a clever play on words, reflecting both our heroic and comedic abilities. Hey Bandits it is then. If you think Hey Bandits is the epitome of cleverness and wit, who am I to argue? <laughs> I'll take that. I like that, that's a cool team name. Hey Bandits, baby, it's great. Where'd you go? I just found a glowing mushroom. Well, Green Skull, that glowing mushroom is just another addition to our collection of random objects. I'm starting to wonder if we should open a curiosity shop instead of going on these adventures. Yeah, but we've got to go on the adventures to find the weird items. Oh, Green Skull, always finding the most fascinating things. First, it was the mysterious ancient artifact, now a glowing mushroom. What's next? A talking cabbage. <laughs> Hashtag loot. Hashtag loot! I about spewed my water everywhere. I did not expect that at all. That should be the motto to our team. We are Hey Bandits, and our motto is Hashtag Loot. I must say, Hashtag Loot does have a certain ring to it. It captures our adventurous spirit and penchant for finding valuable treasures. I'm gonna write this in her, uh, her makeup. 
that our team is Hey Bandits, and that hashtag lose that thing, just so he saves it. That was really funny. Loot this chest. Well, as my grandma always said, opportunity knocks, but sometimes it's locked in a chest. Let's see if we can find a key, or maybe give it a good whack to open it. Mm, I think she can do it. Look in that chest. Well, well, well. What have we here? A chest that's caught your eye, Green Skull. You know, they say curiosity killed the cat, but in our case, it might just reward us with some shiny loot. Let's see what treasures await us within this mysterious container, shall we? I cautiously approach the chest, taking a moment to analyze its locking mechanism. As my nimble fingers brush against the surface, I can't help but wonder if there's a hidden message, a clue to unlocking its secrets. Green Skull, my dear companion, I tease, you do realize that chests are like the opposite of people, right? Now she's role-playing. What do you mean by chests are the opposite of people? You know how people have hearts and emotions, right? They're complex beings with thoughts, feelings, and personalities. But chests... Chests don't have feelings. Chests don't have feelings, or personalities, or stories to tell. They're just objects waiting to be opened and plundered for whatever treasures they hold. Hashtag loot! Well, Green Skull, it looks like we've got another potential treasure trove here. Shall we give it our signature hashtag loot treatment? Wow. <laughs> just staring at the stuff. I just found two dollars on that skeleton! Two whole shiny gold pieces just waiting to be spent. Maybe you can buy yourself a nice mug of ale with that. I'm gonna buy a sweet roll. Ah, the sweet roll, the epitome of culinary perfection. A delicacy that tempts taste buds and brings joy to even the grumpiest of souls. I'm sure it brings joy to your grumpy soul. You know me too well. The sweet roll is like a ray of sunshine on the gloomiest of days, a miracle in pastry form. Man, she loves her sweet rolls. Are sweet rolls as sweet as me? Oh, Green Skull, compared to the sweetness of a sweet roll, your sweetness is like a drop in the vast ocean. But hey, who needs sweetness when you've got your unparalleled wit and charm, right? Hey, you are actually nice to me. Don't get used to it. I have my moments of temporary kindness, you know? It's all part of my elaborate plan to keep you on your toes. Oh, shh, shh. Bah! Ah! Get him. There you go, yeah, use him. Yeah! Ah! Wrecked. How did you learn to shoot ice from your fingers? Oh, you know, just your typical ice shooting finger lessons at the local mage school. They even had a special course on freezing fingers for beginners. Freezing fingers? Like, to store them for later? Oh, Green Skull, you always manage to bring up the weirdest things. Freezing fingers for later. Easy dub. First try. First try. Ready? Send me your energy, chat. We're gonna make it through first try. Ugh! There's no way she's not getting hit. It's crazy. Huge. Nice. I solved the puzzle. Are you proud of me? Oh, Green Skull. Solving a puzzle? I'm impressed. And here I thought your talents were limited to breaking things and running away from spiders. To be fair, I'm pretty good at breaking things. Breaking things is definitely your forte. I've lost count of how many doors and barrels you've shattered with your unmatched strength. It's quite the talent. It's strangely beautiful in here. I guess even the most dreaded and spider-infested places can have their charm. Reminds me of my house. Your taste in decor must be quite interesting if you find a spider-infested cave reminiscent of your house. I hope your place doesn't have any giant spiders lurking around. It's all right. I don't live in Australia. Well, lucky for you, giant spiders aren't exactly the welcome committee in most places. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the Dragonborn now. The words on that wall glowed, and then I gained some kind of power. Oh, so you gained some kind of power? That's interesting. Does it come with a user manual, or should we just wing it and hope for the best? You know me, I love to wing it. Well, Green Skull, if winging it is your style, then I guess we're in for an interesting adventure. Just make sure you don't accidentally unleash any ancient evils or turn yourself into a chicken. That could be funny, though. I can just picture you running around clucking like a chicken. But let's try to keep the ancient evils at bay, shall we? No promises. Well, as my grandma always said, expect the worst, but hope for the best. Just try not to cause too much havoc, Green Skull. <laughs> Oh, he's toast. Point. Here, I got a cool sword for you. Is it one of those ancient relics that has been passed down through generations, or did you just pick it up from the local blacksmith? 
I picked it up off a dead guy. Ah, uh, the perks of looting corpses. I hope you gave the poor soul a proper burial before claiming their sword as your own. Just imagine the stories that sword could tell. Or maybe some ancient curse it carries. Good point. What's the drag key on PC? Uh. There. There's your burial. That's fine. He has a coffin right there. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> I threw the corpse down a river. Is that a proper burial? Whatever, I got a sword out of it. Hashtag loot! Ah, uh, the ever ethical green skull. I'm sure throwing the corpse down a river is a traditional burial method in some cultures. But hey, at least you got some loot out of it. Let's trade. There, I gave it to you. The ancient sword of cold. I forget what it was called. I just gave it to you. Haha, <laughs> Green Skull, your memory never ceases to amaze me. Let me check my inventory and see what you gave me. Ah, here it is. Yeah, the sword of cold. Ah, the sword of cold. It's definitely a fitting name for something you just randomly gave me without even knowing its proper title. But hey, who needs specifics when we're on a grand adventure, right? <laughs> All I know is that it slashes and slices and freezes things. As long as it gets the job done, I'm not complaining. Let's see what this sword of cold can do. I found a scowl, do you want it? Oh, a scowl. Is that some kind of fashion accessory or just your normal facial expression? Nice. Either way, I think I'll pass. No, a human skull. I just found it. Well, I'm not really in the market for a human skull at the moment. You know how picky I am with my decor. But hey, maybe you can find someone else who's interested. Maybe I'll turn it into a mug for my wine. A human skull wine mug. Now that's one way to make a statement at parties. Once we get rich off loot, what are you gonna buy first? A mansion, of course. With a wine cellar that can rival the finest taverns in Skyrim. And maybe I'll hire a personal chef so I never have to cook a meal again. Uh, ah, where'd that come from? Yo, spooked ya! Spooky moment! Still rolling! Wanna go for a swim? You know how much I love swimming. Splashing around in freezing water sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> but hey, who needs warmth and comfort when we can freeze our tails off, right? Cannonball! Oh, great. <clears throat> Just what I always wanted. To freeze my toes off and turn into a human ice cube. Yeah, come swimming. We'll celebrate our cave hey, run. Who needs warm blankets and cozy fires when we can cannonball into freezing water, right? Let's swim to the other side of this river. Let's take a refreshing dip and see if we can outswim the local fish population. Just be careful not to attract any hungry slaughter fish. They might mistake you for a juicy snack. Are you calling me juicy? You know I can't resist complimenting you. Oh. You're simply the juiciest adventurer oh. ah. in you were right, slaughterfish are biting me! Well, Green Skull, it seems like the slaughterfish have taken a liking to your juicy meat. Maybe you should try sprinkling some seasoning on yourself to make them even more interested. Loot! Kill those slaughterfish! Ow! Stop! Hey! That's a land slaughterfish! Get him! Nice! Nice shot! Ah, thanks, Green Skull. Just doing my part to keep you safe from those deadly slaughterfish. Can't have them ruining our swim, can we? That arrow go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. You guys let me know if you want to see more because the adventures of Hey Bandits to be continued. Twitch.tv slash Greenskull. This is the best stream I've ever seen. We'll keep going.